I hope you are enjoying your conference. Well, um, regarding the innovation in politics, I would like to start with an example. Um, one flagship project, really innovative project, was the Digital Republic Bill in France. Axel Le Maire, she then was minister um, in the French government, introduced this new bill. But instead of letting the experts write the bill, she let the citizens of France do it. This was done online, uh, something similar like a video, Wikipedia page. And over 21,000 citizens from France contributed to this, wrote this bill online together. And this bill then passed, supported by all parties, the French National Assembly. And this is really the kind of innovation we need in politics today. And how the citizens can be the part of innovative politics, of innovations in politics? Well, we can see that decades long and well-tested political instruments are increasingly falling short of citizens' expectations. But I want to live, and I'm assuming that most um, of you do the same, want to live in a free and democratic Europe. And to make this possible, we need political work to improve. But this kind of innovations are happening in many places in Europe right now. And with our institute, with our efforts, we are identifying those politicians who are already reinventing politics, who have the courage and the creativity to break new ground and produce real results. And we highlight, we showcase these best practices of new ways of doing politics and um, provide this know-how and their experience to others in politics. How the people in this auditorium who are here today could take a part and could be the part of innovating politics, innovating public space. Well, first of all, you can decide to go into politics and become a politician and do politics in a new and innovative way. But if you do not want to become a politician, many people do not want to do this, um, you can join our efforts in identifying those who are capable in politics of breaking new ground. So you can nominate those projects, political projects and the political innovators for the Innovation in Politics Awards that you think should win an award and should be brought to the fore so that they can serve as an inspiration for others. Or you can become a juror at the Innovation in Politics Awards and you can decide who should win one um, because we are assembling a jury of 1,000 citizens in Europe, representative of all Europe. And you can join this jury, and in September this year, you can decide who of those several hundreds politicians that are um, providing their work and showing their work in the awards should be highlighted um, with um, winning one of these prizes. And how do you manage to coordinate uh, these all innovative projects over the Europe and steer the debate about innovation politics? How it is possible? To steer the debate about innovation politics? Well, the debate are the Innovation in Politics Awards. And last year we had over 600 nominations from politicians all over Europe. And the, there were great political projects, and we show them with media relations and with our Europe-wide network of 12 countries that have joined us now. And um, we are um, confident that this network will expand during the next years. And uh, how do you make this work in, uh, in Austria? What are the biggest innovations in your country? You are based in Vienna. Sure, last year, we gathered the best projects from all over Europe in which jobs were created for over 50s and long-term unemployed people in Europe. And um, these politicians, mayors and um, councillors and ministers from all over Europe, we invited them to Vienna and they came and they um, provided their know-how, their expertise to those in, Europe, in Austria who want to 
start projects for creating jobs for long-term unemployed in the 50s. And so we could, could use this knowledge. And this was a, um, a very successful um, conference we did last year in Austria and um, in, in cooperation with the Federal Ministry of Labor. What is you know, innovation really for you? Innovation consists of two elements. One element is courage and one element is creativity. You need creativity to um, develop new ideas and in politics especially you need courage to support new ideas because errors in politics are rarely forgiven. Wow. Participating in this conference, you are drivers for innovation. Many people think that innovation and politics don't go well together, but that's wrong. We need innovation in politics so that we can improve our democracies in Europe. And that is what you are doing at this conference. So keep up the good work.